Hey there. After posting yesterday that I couldn't give you a massage online, one of my friends asked me uh, if I could possibly lead their partner on a massage for a particular issue that they had. And I thought, hey, why not? So uh, we did that today, and it was uh, it was really good. Um, the woman that was giving her partner uh, a session was uh, very, very good, and that was fun to see without any experience. Um, gave me a little appreciation for my own work, because after a few minutes, she said her hands were getting sore. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, that, that takes some time. Anyway, what I'd like to offer today is uh, self-massage, because I thought, I, there are things that we can do for ourselves, and particularly for writers. Um, well, we all use our hands, not for touching our faces, obviously, but um, but our hands uh, do so much. There are 27 bones in the human hands, and that's a lot of joints and a lot of connective tissue, a lot of muscles, and um, and and little fine fine ones. So I thought, why not why not lead you through? Um, a self massage for your hands, hands. So um, yeah, you can begin, you know, just by just by rubbing your thumb over your palm, and you know where it's really juicy is right in here, right in the base of the thumb, this little mound, and. Um, Sensation and tension is uh, the greatest close to the bone. So you want to come right up against the bone there. Ah, yeah. Just finding those juicy spots and, uh, and just hanging out there, hanging out there. And you can you can press and then just wait, 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 wait till the tension melts. Or you can stroke nice deep strokes in close. And years ago when I was taking my rebalancing training in India, my teacher Satyarti, I'll never forget, he said, very technical, uh, very technical training. And he said, you know, if you find a spot that's really juicy, hang out there for a while. And I think that is probably the wisest instruction one could get. Um, so when you find those places that are, ooh, like, yeah, right in there, you'll find it. You'll find it. It's easy to find. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait, you know. And then it eases. It just starts to let go. It starts to melt under your own touch, on your own sweet touch. So you're just following the digits, following the digits, getting right in. Ah, and you know, there's so many uh, overlapping uh, methods of of healing. There's you know shiatsu and acupuncture, all the the Japanese and the Chinese methods, and um, they overlap because those juicy spots are often points related to various organs and blockages in organs. So, you know, you're doing uh, lots of things at the same time as you, as you massage your hands. So, you know, giving the fingers really, I mean, it's your hand. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. And writers, oh my God, you know, whether you're writing with a pen or on a keyboard, you know, you, those muscles get uh, repetitive and they get strained. So, so you can do that. Just go through each of the fingers. And you'll find mostly it's, it's at the base of the fingers and the thumb that has the most tension. And the wrist, the wrist in here, right in here, right in there, all along the base of the hand. There's all these little, little grooves between bones, all these little connecting places to hang out. And especially here where we are constant, very rarely doing this, which is a really good countermeasure. We're always doing this. So there's a lot of stress in here, in the back of the hand, yeah. The other thing you can do is you can squeeze, squeeze the 
and that feels really good. And this one, pressing, pressing your fingers into the knuckles. That's a really good stretch. Yeah, so all these ways that you can take care of your sweet hands, and I highly recommend it. And all of the points, you know, all of the acupuncture points and the reflexology points, they're all in the hands and the feet and the head. And we have access. We have access ourselves. We don't need others to do it for us. It's always nicer to have others do it for us. But hey, you use what you got, right? So I wish you happy hand health. And then just shake it out. Shake it out. And after you do one, just check out how the other one feels in comparison. And you'll find, oh, this one feels lighter. It feels um, more spacious. Yeah. I wish you happy hand health.